I guess I don't have to introduce myself. <laughs> um, I don't want to waste anyone's time. I just want to say something real quick about this presentation, and that is just who inspired me to do it, really. And, you know, I had this word on me for a while, and I, I couldn't shake it. And it was just it was something that came to me. I would think of the words, and I would think, man, I should really present that, but it just wasn't me. But there is someone, my amazing coach, right here in the middle, holding the camera, Aww. who told me that, well, who told us, really, as a team, that if there's ever something that's on your heart for that long, it's probably something from God, not something to ignore. So I just wanted <laughs> to say thank you. <laughs> Seeing is believing. And people don't want to believe in what they can't see. Right now, you can see me, you can hear me, you know that I'm real, here's the ordeal. You've never seen God face to face, and you're expected to just believe by faith. But that doesn't change our human ways that always persist to come back and say that seeing is believing, and it's too hard to believe in something you can't see. But you see, this is something that defies our nature, because believing is seeing, and once you choose to believe, you will see the truth. You don't have to see God, you just have to see Him move. He says he is love. So finding every stranger's act of kindness that's ever brought you out from nights of crying and every time the world's mindless violence was broken by a moment's silence when the quiet sighed that you would somehow be all right. He says he is merciful. So remember every wrong you've ever tried to hide and don't fight it, just let those wrongs be righted and you'll find that your new sight is that you see how you've been guided and the ways that he's stuck with you no matter where you were sighted because believing is seeing. And once you believe, I promise you, you'll see. But if we can see once we believe, and seeing is believing, it sounds so simple, why do so many not believe? Maybe there's just not enough to see. Maybe the reason so many don't believe in God is because all they've ever seen is a facade of love, a facade of grace, a facade of mercy that pretends to forget what you've done and then shoves it right back in your face. They can hear every word I've spoken and it won't matter because despite what they hear, all they see is families broken and lives shattered. They don't believe because they can't see. And they can't see because we won't show them, because we are content for them to just hear. And we preach from afar, we're too afraid to get near and show them what's right here so our words inevitably fall on deaf ears. Mm. We sing slow songs and call that worship, denying the work that it takes to do something that's worth it, denying the boldness that God demands, the boldness it takes to lay our hands on the sick and heal, to share with the weary world that he has revealed, denying that which shows the begging masses that maybe a loving God could be real. You know, there have been times I'd see a neighbor lying half dead, I'd say a quick prayer in my head and pass by on the other side, then I'd go home and hide and leave the broken outside. We use our salvation to keep our own souls safe and sound when we were meant to reach them out to a world that's hell-bound, but, but that means standing out in a crowd, and, and people don't like it when you get too loud, and it's so much easier to take what the Master gives and bury it deep in the ground. Mm. We can't be afraid to stand up for what's right because living for Christ is a battle to fight every time you see someone struggle. You're not staying humble when you stay in the pew and mumble the words to a hymn when the church lights go dim so you can stay content and stay in your bubble. Jesus is a light you cannot cover up. This world doesn't nearly have love enough. So practice what you've been preaching. Stop overthinking and just start reaching. Don't turn a blind eye to the reasons heaven's grieving because seeing is believing. And if you want people to start believing, you better give them something to see. Mm. Thank you. Yeah.